Hello and welcome back to Giant Bomb's coverage of E3 2019. We're here with tonight's final segment of the night. With guests. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a best for last situation? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank We're, you. Of course. Thank Only you if you sing it allowing me to believe yeah. that tonight. We're the best. <laughs> no, I, I can't. It's, my throat is not a good singing time. If you were on, like, if you were on the 6 o'clock segment, you would have gotten oh, the singing. But we're on the 11 o'clock. Uh, but uh, you get the real shit. <laughs> real gamer shit. Yeah, that's the right. Real shit hours. Some Eleanor shit. Yeah. Uh, World premiere. Yeah. Wait, okay. Okay. <laughs> Keita Jackson, hello, hi. Hi, Chris Plant, what's up? Hello. Hey. Dante Douglas, how you doing? Uh, uh, back ill, back here. Uh, hello. Chelsea Stark, Tina the meeting. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Just introduce everyone. This oh. Neons thing seems kind of fucked up to me. But also... <laughs> Is that because you're not a Neon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Being Neon sounds awesome. <laughs> What, what? what is a neon? What are you okay, about? so uh, people. Okay, there, we uh, was this last segment of the segment. It was before? like two before. Yeah, this. Uh, oh. apparently. Uh, There's no audio in the green. The people. Yeah. Uh, so the 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 public, the the people that are buying passes to get in, all have these big plastic badge holders oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that are like this mm. neony orange oh, thing. Oh yeah. And mm. and that's how uh, we tell that they are. Gamers. Uh, Gamers. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. And and so someone referred to them as neons, which I think is... A John Mayer song. <laughs> well, that is oh. mean to do. It, yeah. I just want to see the video games. It's There's fine. nothing wrong with Can seeing you, the video games. With that. Can you imagine anything more disappointing? Like, you have been to, like, PAX. <laughs> you have been to, like, any, any literally anything else. You walk into a like, GameStop once? <laughs> I, 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 I've been reading about E3 since, I don't know, like, four years ago. <laughs> since four years ago. And, and I'm finally here, and then you walk in, and it's like... Just like your dad's like paperweight convention. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's cool. a collection of the most tired and overworked people that you could find. The, the only cool thing is a Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games rock climbing wall. That'd be yeah. sick. I want see that. I want to try that rock climbing wall. I'll that's sign the end. release. <laughs> it looks safe, right? 30 pages long. Well, that's what, that's what gonna... E4 is. It's E for all. It's E for all. <laughs> yeah. It's right there in the Jamie name. Everyone. Uh, Everyone's here and they can all climb the rock climbing wall with Mario and or Sonic. Wait, you have to do it with Mario or Sonic? Absolutely, there's a cosplayer there. But this Sonic, is E4 after all. Oh, Sonic shit. has to wear his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> he is legally required to wear his shoes. Damn it. it feels like a disadvantage. I know. What, what convention do I have to go to to see the shoeless Sonic? Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's every year that in... E40. <laughs> okay. All right. That might just be the movie at this rate. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. They're making it more realistic. It'll work out. Do you think that there will be a scene where, I mean, he has to like lace them up, right? Oh. He's gonna be like, time to go fast, motherfucker. No, it really fucks me up that like, yeah. Bench Wars is just doing his normal voice. Yeah. He's yeah. not doing a voice. He's just doing, just he's just talking. Schwartz. It's, it's just, just Ben Schwartz. Do you think old he's, Sonic had a, a voice, like a notable I mean, yeah. he's a cartoon, twang? so he should have a cartoon voice. That's just how mm. I feel. He's not a man. He's not a man. He's a hedgehog, okay? <laughs> not being unreasonable here. He's not Sonic the Hedgehog. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After all. Uh, well, that's, I mean, you make a good point. Yes. <laughs> and a great uh, mental I, image. I can't argue with that. He's going to have the clippers. Or is he, is he break all the clippers because he loves hedges so much? <laughs> Is it just like that, that, you went in a direction that I didn't like, expect? He's like he's freaking out. He's I'm like sorry. flipping everything. He's just like going around waiting, trying to find gardeners and just fucking their shit up. He's like, you mow the lawn. I <laughs> I'm a hog for this hedge. I'm fucking <laughs> shit. And just like slashes the tires on their truck. Is just like pissing on lawnmowers. This is a very dark reimagining of Sonic. Sonic they want to get it right movie. this time. They want to yeah. get it right this time. What they do you gotta do? Get it right. Listen, what do the gamers want? Uh, they want Sonic to kill someone. They, they wanted Sonic's bare feet, and they're never going to get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I want to know what his feet look like. I'm, I'm imagining that scene in Kill Bill with Uma Thurman's feet, but it's blue and hairy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. Quentin is just <laughs> tensely looking over them. Oh. I gotta go fast. Driving, driving a truck that yeah. says, like, the, like the tails wagon on the side oh, or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, so can we appreciate that you really nailed every press conference? What do the gamers want? 
<laughs> what do they want? What do they want? <laughs> Give me what they want. Please I, tell us, because we don't. Apparently, we we thought you wanted the loot boxes, well, but it, yeah. apparently not. Have uh, you? I think they still think that the gamers want the loot boxes, oh, and yeah. that's kind of a problem. The science, the science says oh, God. you, you want. You know, the science says you need the loot. Science you guys excited? Says you don't know what you want. Yeah. <laughs> you guys Every excited for Tom Clancy's loot box game that they're oh making? Oh my God. Tom not? Clancy's Gadgetpon? Yeah. Yeah. Every presser is basically <laughs> just like, please like me. Please, yeah. Yeah. It was me, like, right before prom in junior year of high school. Please like me. I <laughs> would like to hang out with you, please. Also, what a brag about senior year prom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just brought my friend who I wasn't dating, and it was also, like, a freshman. That's so the way to go. So she just, like, had a blast, and I was like, I'm glad I can facilitate this. Now I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> You've done a good thing for a smaller person. Lindley Elmore had a great time. <laughs> How do you feel about? Sorry for interrupt. No, right. all, the, the Bethesda thing is, you know, them sort of laying down and sort of showing their belly and like <laughs> saying, like, trying to be very polite and nice and equivocating with these people who have been fucking mean to them right. online. It's like we heard your criticism. We I, listen. Like, I, I, I want a like, press conference where, like, no, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. I, well, that's the ball. Uh, I yeah. think yeah, the, the really. like the unsaid message there was like, please stop doxing us. Yes. Like, please don't. Um, Threaten us with violence, you know, like like that was the yeah. unsaid message. Like Bethesda, most of all, because they kept going back to it, and then also going to like players whose mm -hmm. lives have been touched by Bethesda games, which you know that's a real thing. Like mm -hmm. well, I'm not I'm not knocking that, but it felt like they were using it to be like, see, uh, don't hit us. Uh, and and it, it felt like they were kind of leaning on like whatever goodwill they could find out there to be like, people like this yeah. game. Because it, it felt like they were traumatized by yeah. how terrible, which you know they have the right to be. Sure, but like, yeah, it was a weird feeling. Supplicating is supplicating. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, look, the bag was bad. The what do you want me bad. to do? If we, have to write, if we have to write another article about that bag, I, like don't know, I think Luke Plunkett is just going to fly to America and like, just go ham. Yeah. Like, did, did he get a bag? Did he get a bad bag? No, he's just been covering the story because all this oh, stuff okay. happens during like night shift hours. And then he's like, the the <laughs> final paragraphs in the first three articles are like, I can't believe I had to write an article about a bag. I can't believe I had to write a second article about a bag. I can't believe I had to write a third article of a bag. Then I like got the latest one. I was like, I hope whatever happens here does not necessitate a fifth article about this bag. Like, I thought we've since moved on to the inside blow up doll again. <laughs> didn't that didn't that have like a release date oh or something? Oh my god! Recently? Oh yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that, that wasn't like a blow up doll, right? It was like a molded yeah, humanistic. Yeah, it's, it's just made from by a company who yeah, yeah. specializes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, you I mean, you want you want it to be good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> you want the realism. Yeah. If anyone knows latex, it's <laughs> yeah, cyber skin. Um, I thought it was interesting <laughs> that Sorry, they that up. <laughs> uh, and, and, and they almost had to, right? Like right before E three, like there was like, hey. The bags are going out. Oh, yeah. So that they could have, like, just please don't ask us about the bags at E3. We know it's all you're going to talk about. So here's the story on the bags right before E3. We're mailing them out. There was a lot of that this year. Ubisoft had really nailed that with, um, we know that you're going to ask us about politics. <laughs> so we're going to release the entire right. blog post. <laughs> so everybody can just say, great question about politics. Let me direct you to the Ubisoft blog. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but then in the reverse of fate. <laughs> yeah. The exact opposite happened. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> it's wonderful. Well, it's almost like the games they're making are Inher inherently political. <laughs> Did Canadian. they not know oh, yeah. what <laughs> "Welcome to the Resistance" like means? It's like those series of words and words. Right. You yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the end of those. Well, I, I just have to imagine, like, in, and maybe this is me giving them too much credit, but I, I want to imagine that like the people on the ground, the people making the games know full well what they're making and this is just like a marketing tactic to be like, well, we don't want to piss off assholes, I, so I we it, better say this. I, I think it's almost certainly that's what it is, right? Like yeah. these, these people are not stupid making this game. They no. probably know that they are invoking real world things inside it, but probably someone in PR, someone's like boss of a boss of a boss is like saying like, well, we can't say that because that will inherently limit the amount of people who can hypothetically play our game, which I would like to say at 11 p.m. is fucking bullshit. I mean, so, like, wait, this <laughs> is like a conversation that is frustrating to me because I feel like it doesn't even matter what it is that they're putting in the game. Yes. Mm. Everyone who plays the game is going to come to it with their own politics and learn something Thing about themselves from mm -hmm. playing it. Whatever questions it poses to you, even if they don't seem political in nature, will reveal something to you 
about how you feel about the world. It's a and fucking that Rorschach act test. in itself yeah. is politics. Yeah. So. You know what I love though? What? I love to imagine the Ubisoft lunchroom, and it's like the Ghost <laughs> Recon team, and they're like, uh, like ghillie suits, <laughs> <laughs> like eating like coleslaw, just coleslaw, just and then coleslaw. like, and then just like Clint Hawking walking in and being like, I would like to talk to you about post Brexit politics, <laughs> and then being like, just like shooting him with paintball guns. <laughs> Shut up, nerd! <laughs> Shut up, nerd! <laughs> we got John Bernthal in our game! <laughs> He's the Punisher. <laughs> I got his fucking sticker on my truck, man. <laughs> big black truck, big old Punisher sticker on the hood. That guy owns a dog. Like, the dog, dog was good. Yeah. The dog was good. Dog was good. Uh, don't I'm besmirch sorry. that dog. I will not besmirch that dog. Never. His dog is blameless. It was Bam Bam. Come on. Oh, yeah. Bam it was a good. very well behaved dog, I was I was, Yeah. 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 I I thought it was a show dog at first until we got the word like, no, that's just that dude's dog. <laughs> Did you? I thought it was a bit, but then he just had it. Just right. I was like, oh, is there a dog in this game? Can you pet the dog in the game? What do we, you know, is, the, is that where we're going? He didn't uh, want to drop his dog off at the sitter, like just to do the yeah. five minute thing, that's, right? That's just what he does. Like John Bernthal brings his dogs places. I've yeah, heard, yeah. yeah, this is a thing. Like, yeah, I, I think that was the word. It's like he wants yeah. to like kind of change the perception of pit bulls and stuff. And he's like, hey, this Great. dog is not... No such thing as locking nice. jaws that yeah. lock, like it's don't be a dumbass, it's a dog, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Good for John. They're just yeah. large. That's Everyone it. needs yeah. their Keanu, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my mom yeah. texted me saying, I heard Keanu was at E3. Did you see him? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yes, we're hanging out right now. Did you get could you get him on a job stream? I I mean it's have you not, reached out? We've not reached out. Oh, okay. uh, well that's the problem right there. We have some problem. <laughs> we have beef. Well more importantly, can you get Bam Bam? Bam Bam on the stream. Bam so, Bam on the stream. You know, I reviewed Enter the Matrix, so uh, <laughs> me and Keanu not really <laughs> Don't need that. Yeah. I thought it was good. <laughs> <It's the Matrix>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it was just his likeness, but not his voice for Enter the Matrix. So <laughs> maybe we're okay. What did you think about uh, Path of Neo, the objectively superior game? Uh, I I think I pawned that one off to Alex or somebody else. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright! Yeah. I, I I remember standing behind his desk watching the ending of it going, huh. Okay. <laughs> that game has it, alright. You did a, you did some stuff. Alright. Oh wait, yeah, they retconned a bunch of shit. Uh, right? they, yeah. they retconned it. It's specific they like fourth wall broke and said, the ending of the movies is not great for a video game, so instead can I spoil this fucking game? Yeah. 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 Is anyone worried about this? Spoilers for Path uh, of Neo. Spoilers for Neo. The ending of the game, they're like, the, uh, the Wachowskis, Wachowskis come out and they say like, hey, um, the ending of the movies is not very good for a video game, so instead we made um, Agent, what, Agent Smith into a giant monster and you have to throw cars at him. And then he dies. Uh, that is a better They know what the, the people movies. want. Mm -hmm. Listen, the Wachowskis, I'm a Wachowski defender. Yes. I love them. I love them. Great. Great. So I'm not going to have to fight with anyone. Speed Racer <laughs> is one of the best movies like, ever even, made. Yeah, absolutely. Even like something like Cloud Atlas, which I despise in many ways, is like so 100% the thing that it was going to be, mm. like to the point where they went to the racist place and then didn't clearly never thought about it at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, this seems fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a metaphor. People will be fine with it because it's a metaphor, right? Yeah, like, so, Tom like, Hanks is okay with it. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Maybe lay off, you know? It Maybe lay off. In. <laughs> the problem is I read Cloud Atlas and like loved the book and like was cr I was crying reading it in my like school library. Wow. So like I deeply can I just can't deal with that movie. But like the Wachowski <laughs> Speed Racer is a work of art. Yes! yes. Speed yeah. Racer! I worked at Forever 21 in a mall and like I used to come home every day and just watch Speed Racer <laughs> to like wipe the mall out of my life. I <laughs> have never identified with another person <laughs> so much in my life <laughs> as I do right now. <laughs> um, can, I, can I share an anecdote? This is, it, it's somewhat related. Okay. I promised Alex I would share this. Okay. Somewhat related. This is a, it's it. related because it's tied to a, a similar movie. It's called Alita <laughs> Battle Angel. Yes! 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 So, Finally! <laughs> there, was, there was an Alita Battle Angel immersive experience. Kind really? of like an escape room makes her sleep no more. <laughs> the people who invested in this thought it was going to make them a lot of money. <laughs> so they built three. One in LA, one in New York, and one in Austin, Texas, where the film was shot. Oh, cool. Interesting. Sure. Right? Wow. Yeah. So I oh, go to this. This is like in like January or whatever, before mm. the movie's out. Very useful to do this experience sure. before I've seen the movie. And I'm in a group, and there is a, a man in a baseball cap who is 
very, very into this experience. <laughs> and he is wonderful. He gives me life throughout the whole experience. There is him, um, and there is a young woman who uh, is wearing rainbow wig um, and is fully an anime character turned into life. And they together are polar opposites and just magical. Everything we do, there's a puzzle involving magnets. Magnets! Okay, <laughs> great. Got it. There is, um, you have to like uh, figure out like how electric eyes work. He has answers every time. <laughs> it's, it's 60 minutes of just a death sprint through this. And at the very end of him, I, 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 I just look at him and I say, Sir, I think I know you. Vince Sambella. <laughs> <laughs> what? And he, and he says, how do you know my name? <laughs> <laughs> and then we part ways. <laughs> and a, a day later, he announced a game called Apex Legends. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. Wait, did you be so beautiful? And I already knew about the game, and I was like, oh man, that kid's gonna have a terrible day tomorrow. <laughs> I was so wrong. No, no. Yeah. That's when he got the idea and he stayed up all night. Yeah. <laughs> Guys. Have you seen Alina? <laughs> there's, there's probably a magnet character in that game before too long. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why wouldn't you do that? Escape rooms, I don't I went to a, a a bar in San Antonio once that had a weird entrance and that was too much for me. Oh. <laughs> so, I think the escape room with Heather Alexandra for a Resident Evil escape room. Mm. That was pretty fun because Heather Alexandra is a delight and she loves the shit out of Resident Evil. Good. So a lot of it she was like, Oh yeah, I remember doing this puzzle. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, next one. And like, <laughs> she just had the answers know. memorized from the oh, game? She like, remembered some of some of the puzzles were ones from the game. And like, the last one was the hardest one. And they were just like, okay, because you did very well, we're not going to help you. So just do it. But like, the first one was one of those, I remember doing this puzzle too. I forgot which game it was in. Because I usually, when I play scary games, I... And behind the person who's playing it, and then I leave mm. when it's too scary. So, I've seen a lot of small parts of scary games. Um, like it's turning a gem into a thing, and yeah. a crank into this. And, and then yeah. there's a noise, and I gotta scary. go. It's very scary. It doesn't, it's not chill. Anyway, she remember the one where you have to put a piece of wood down and then turn it so it makes like an animal shape, and then it opens a door. Oh, classic. Yeah, one of those classic ones. Except like because it's like an escape room, like nothing opens automatically. There's just like a guy there who's like, all right, you got it. <laughs> and then they open the door for okay, you. Okay, so, so I have not, I'm not done a modern escape. Like, like it, is it literally, like I would think that that would be like the showmanship and the smoke and mirrors would be the whole thing. But if it's literally do going, Hey, nice one. All right. Uh, <laughs> next, it's go. It's okay. some bingo hall shit now. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Yes. They want to get as many people through as they can, oh, so they sure. just put yeah. like 30-something people in one big room together. I feel like we're besmirching Jason? the name of, of escape rooms. They're good wait, ones. Wait. They're definitely good Jason, ones. Jason Schreier did one, a Zelda one. That yeah, was we like saw a Jason at the Zelda one. <laughs> what was, wait, wait, wait. Question, question. What was he like? Uh, in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> he just filled yeah, Somehow he had all the answers already. <laughs> <laughs> he was going around asking everyone for the answers. <laughs> Jason, so, we love you. <laughs> we love you, Jason. You're great. I actually do love Jason. He was just smiling so serenely during the Tales announcement. <laughs> 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 <On the street. laughs> he was just really just cherubically yes. smiling and it was so endearing. <laughs> I was sitting across from him writing my breakouts and he was clearly just so happy. <laughs> he, he loves video games more than anyone I know. <laughs> Can we talk about, they're doing a Breath of the Wild sequel? I'm sorry, I have not yeah. yelled about how crazy that is this entire week. Yeah. That's cool as hell. I can't Holy even shit. process the fact that it exists. It's yeah. going to take like seven years to come out, but like, who cares? It's a who Breath of the Wild cares? sequel. It's going to be amazing. If they're reusing the world, it might not, right? right? Yeah. I mean, if they could Majora's Us. Yeah. I, I think it I is going to be a Majora's Us. Yeah. I, I think that's good. Yeah. I think that's the Majora's right thing to do. Majora's Twilight princess yeah, I've had the joy yeah. of discovery, now give me the existential dread. Like, I'm ready for that. Mm. Yeah. The thing I was kind of secretly hoping they would do is just go like super shrine heavy and do like a four swords thing so it was like multiplayer puzzle solving like an escape room my my theory is that it's going to be like way more linear and they're going to yeah. like lean into kind of the older style of zelda stuff but they're going to keep the like cool breath of the wild like systemic bullshit mm. and like just go it, it'll be more linear less open world 
That's me just shooting off the cuff. I have no fucking idea. I can see idea. it. I can see it. Yeah. The only thing that's interesting to me is that Zelda has the upgraded protagonist haircut in that yeah. thing. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. what's going to happen? Nintendo like, let us play as Zelda. What I the saw fuck? a really good meme today that was like Lucy with the football. Mm. And there's like all labeled. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's like Nintendo was Lucy and the football was you can play as Zelda. <laughs> and like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like Charlie Brown is just me sad in the future. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I could easily see it going that way. But like, what if it's a co op game? I mean, that was co-op. Co-op. That's what co-op. I want, co-op. really. But what if they're like, we heard you, you're going to play as Link? And Ganondorf. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Because there are two sides in politics. Yeah. <laughs> Who can save Zelda first? Find oh, out God. in a race to the finish. I think I think there are better companions that we could think of for Link. Perhaps Beetle, the Bard. Oh. Perhaps Tingle. Perhaps, tingle, tingle man. perhaps Tingle. There's a lot of characters mm. who I think. Who's, who's the bird that we all want to kiss? Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh. I like that bird. Fuck, what's his name? <laughs> I, I wanted to kiss uh, him, I don't remember. We just have Sidon. Uh, Bring Sidon back. Cast. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Sidon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. I like the bird better, though. There's a lot of voices the bird's nice. in that game. Mm. There's a whole bunch. Mm. <laughs> that was their, you know, Breath of the Wild. They're like, hey, we got to take it in a new direction. Fresh breath. Yeah. <laughs> and the. You got to get it. You got to get it. <laughs> getting wild. Oh, You're going to get it. Breath of the Wild, if you will. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's uh, a bad joke. Don't laugh at that. You got to leave now. Yeah, sorry. Um. Yeah, they announced a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Like it it was kind of cool to see Nintendo just go like, "Ah, oh, fuck it, man. Here's games." Yeah. Like not all of them were ours. I played a bunch uh, of them today. Yeah, yeah. It was nice to like go to the booth and like actually be like, "We got a ton of stuff for you to play." Yeah. <laughs> you know, like our stuff and not like mostly not our stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. I is... almost cried playing uh, <laughs> Zelda. I'm sorry. I'm wow, just calling mean. out Pat no, over here. Okay. He, it was very He's sweet. But, like, I he, know. He, he had like, a moment in front of us. <laughs> and and of also, us. he attacked the uh, chicken. I said check. <laughs> just, just, just to see what happened. And then uh, the publicist just started maniacally laughing. <laughs> and then under her breath, in the darkest tone, went, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, we uh, we stole a bow and arrow, and then we actually did die. You go oh. back in the shop, and oh, right. yeah. 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 Well, the greatest part is when, when you steal it. It's kind of tricky because you have to like run around the shopkeeper and mm-hmm. run right back out. And then um, when you come back out, the dialogue box is something like, "Are you proud of yourself?" <laughs> like hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like actually, yeah. yeah. It's tricky to pull off. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's it's gorgeous though. Like it's it's kind of framey, honestly. Framey yeah, I heard the, 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 the yeah performance and just like yeah, the, especially outside that maybe it wasn't running yeah. right. But I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I hope they tune it up because it's like absolutely the one of my favorite games. The aesthetic is so ever. beautiful. Yeah. So it cute. really is. Tilt shift. Just so I was today. I played that and then Pokemon and then Fire Emblem and like just so many of those games are about being nice to your friends <laughs> mm-hmm. and like it just really was what I needed on this day. <laughs> and like I count Link as this one because he just is so cute. Whenever you he, you get him something, I just feel like well oh, you know go get him little guy. <laughs> yeah. You're just having a nice time now. Yeah, <laughs> now. And that was, I think that was the first Zelda game that had the whole like trade forward mechanic where you like get a thing for mm-hmm. somebody and they give you a thing for another thing. Weird game, it's good. Um, yeah. I also tried to suck up Gooigi and I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but he does react. Okay. When, when he tries he to suck like Gooigi, wiggle no, he, like, he, like, he like moves towards the, okay. he, he like moves towards your uh, vacuum. Okay. Just, just, they're, they're like teasing you with the idea that you could suck up Gooigi. Do you think maybe you could upgrade the vacuum and suck up a Gooigi? I feel like the AO3 entry for Gooigi right oh, now no. is just lighting up. No. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just really need to explore the Gooigi possibilities. That's all. Do you? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes I do. Where? I want to know where he comes from on the... Does he come from you? The vacuum? No, no, no. You have a backpack that has no. Gooigi in it. No, no, no. But like, where get, is he? Oh, just like Death Stranding. What? Yeah. Where where he comes out in the backpack. What is no. Gooigi? So, yeah, where is he? Is it's, a, it's a bridge, a bridge Gooigi. He's a... Yeah, you need it to come back from the dead. Yeah. As we know. For no, course. <laughs> Did I miss here? Did you say what breeds Luigi? No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's bridge a bridge Luigi. Luigi. Bridge. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a bridge Oh my baby. god, I love Kadeo Kojima's like brain genius moment with naming that character Sam Bridges. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> like, Do you, you get, get it? it? <laughs> Do you get it? Get a bridge America. You got a bridge America. Again. And he works for bridge. Make America bridge again. <laughs> We're just going to rename it. It's Sam's Across America. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
We're pretty excited about it's it. It's a strand oh. game. It's about building bridges, and you got he a bridge. He keeps tweeting baby. about it like it's the most normal concept ever. He's like, no, the Death Stranding system is different from Metal Gear Solid. It's super different. How? Yeah. It's about strands it's and about a ladder strands. that you yeah. make. How great would it be, then, though, if for the last like 15 years he's been saying strands, and the localizers and translators have been like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stealth shooter. I think that's now the way he says stealth, stealth action. I don't know. Nobody's there to catch him when he falls. Yeah. So what do you like more? Do you like strand games or do you like free games? Full reactive eyes entertainment, oh my God, of course. Right. Mm. Uh, like Shenmue. What was the name of his his the thing that they called oh transferring? Yeah, the, transferring. The, that was great. Loved that technology. Wish they used it for anything. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's well, the PSP in a nutshell. I guess. <laughs> I wish I wish they used the PSP for anything too. Seriously. Yeah, Listen, you know. if you go like on the south side of Chicago, mm -hmm. even just like cross Roosevelt and get on any bus, you will see an entire bus full of young black men listening to music on their PSPs and PSPs. Yeah. It is Fantastic. incredible. How like the black community has just kept that console alive? The dream is alive. I feel like, like, like that's the future we need. Like I, I bought one of those. Was it like a one gig memory car yeah. sticks for the PSP? Oh, yeah, yeah. The memory stick. Well, that co that cost you a hundred. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's efficiency. I was like, like, well, yeah. I'm gonna rip pornography to this thing <laughs> <laughs> because it's a console. Why wouldn't I put the porno on it? Because that's funny, right? Yeah, you can watch it on the plane. Yeah. 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 I'm going to keep it on here because the joke is still funny. <laughs> the joke is still good. I was walking to uh, the train one time in New York. Mm. This is a gross story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, and I was having my typical New Yorker rage moment where someone was walking too slowly in front of me. And they had like a, a suitcase, so they're taking up the entire stairwell of the L train. Yeah. And I was getting mad. And so I like go to see what they're looking at on their phone. I was trying to not tap their shoulder and say, excuse me. And I just look over the shoulder, and they're just like straight up watching porn on their phone going into the subway. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get ready. <laughs> 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 okay. Like, and then when I said excuse me and kept walking past, they had like stopped to speak to me. Uh. As if I wanted to speak to the man watching porn. Yes. On <laughs> what do you think of the video? What do you, do you want to watch a video? <laughs> Get on the train. <laughs> what was in the Come on, suitcase? ride the train. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what was in his suitcase, Chris. That's kind of the problem. Ask that. I've been avoiding asking that for months. We all want well, to nothing. Because he was looking to fill the suitcase. God. Oh, no. <laughs> he still walks free. Yeah, he's out there somewhere <laughs> right now. He's like unbreakable too. Yeah. And his name was Gooey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I he was just a producer and he's like observing an edit of his work. I mean, like, know. how's this look on a phone? Because that's where most people can see it. So. I mean, like honestly, he's, to get yeah. back he's just like, really, you know, really hard worker. It's not, it wasn't like it. it was just a free yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We're not giving this guy enough of a benefit. I, think, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. How is this going to sound when sure. real perverts are watching? <laughs> <laughs> Tested in an urban environment. <laughs> okay, so this will only make sense to the weebs of the catch. But the first time I watched the first episode of Darling in the Franks, I like had to make sure that no one was in my apartment because it sounded so much like I was watching porn. <laughs> that Just is like, what that show is. <laughs> <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> I like had to pause it and like knocked on my roommate's doors, and then was like, oh, okay, great, I can watch this for the next twenty minutes, and then I have to hide from everyone. <laughs> I was gonna say I bought, I got, I didn't buy, I received in a PS Vita recently. That sounds really bad, Jesus. Um, I got a PS Vita recently. That thing rules. Why did we all stop using the PS Vita? <laughs> I'm sorry, I turned into a Vita diehard in 2019. Kind of Ethan <laughs> 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 You and Ethan Gap. It's just good. I got it for the personas, and then I'm like, ah, this feels good in my hands. Right, good. Dante. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know who said that, but so, you're right. Uh, <laughs> oh, Dante, thanks. I offend you because I have a Vita with me on my, this trip. Ooh, so yeah. Ooh. Did you see that? Okay, Borderlands 2 is on the Vita, which means there was a uh, expansion announced for a Vita game today. <laughs> did, they, did they put it out on that? Yes, it is apparent. I, as far as I know, it is on all platforms of wow. Borderlands 2. That's crazy. <laughs> which means you can play it on the Vita. There was a Vita game announced, though, too. One of the press conferences. Yeah, one well, of them was, had uh, it. I forgot it was. Where one of those remasters were yeah. just like, fucking us on the Vita. game, too. Right, yeah. 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 That's <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Keeping it alive. But yeah. It's also on Stadia, which... I cannot imagine is a good experience to play that game. Well, there's no game. What? Yeah. Just what? Dance. Just the reason they can port it is it's pretty much like a 
video. Yeah. I mean, there's like very I, limited. Well, no, no, no. Yeah. What it's I mean like is, it's a DVD it, menu. But it's about <laughs> syncing. <laughs> but it syncs your movements, right? So like, how the fuck? But not precisely. Okay. It's, 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 it's just kind of like, are you moving? Yeah. Okay. They've, they've got shit to use your smartphone now instead of any other controller. So That's a yeah, I love They're Just Dance, but I Just Dance. Just Dance defenders have logged on. Just Dance. Four years ago. Just defenders, if you will. Four years ago, I had to interview Jason Derulo, and he showed me how to use a phone. And then he showed me how to two step. So I'm yeah. okay. The second one sounds great. <laughs> no, yeah. But the first one. Just imagine Jason Derulo going, "Well, first you dial the number." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, do you know the number? <laughs> I was really sad that they didn't bring out like a C tier musical guest for the Just yeah. Dance. Yeah, I missed those. Because I was I like those. there. I was physically present. I was like, "Great, right, I'm gonna see Baby Rexa yeah. again." Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Baby Rita Rexa. Aura is here. Yeah, yeah. 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 yay. Rita Aura is finally somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that I think that the the biggest sin of video games right now Thank is you. we haven't brought back Usher in to do more of those happy uh, Merry Christmas Xbox, Happy Easter Xbox when things. I we love need those. Happy we need Easter yeah. Xbox I'm is that he looks like he doesn't know if he's going to say it at first. <laughs> <laughs> All those videos are so fucking good, and I'm so sad that there aren't one for yeah. every single holiday. That is apparently uh, a John Drake joint. Where he was <laughs> oh, harmonics damn. back then. He apparently John, you, John Drake made Drake. that happen. Thank so, you, John Drake. That's yeah. amazing. That's um, incredible. Can I make a request just sure. publicly? Absolutely. Oh, this is, I, uh, just me, just dance or? reminded me. Oh, okay. no, it's just uh -huh. to the world, but specifically Great. actually to the Ubisoft. Okay. Um, so I know that Watch Dogs 3 lets you play as anybody in anyone. a city. There was a character in Watch Dogs 1. Mm -hmm. He ran a newsstand. His name was Chris Plant. <laughs> His interests were exclusively hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> <laughs> Because he was butthurt. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 oh, no. Ubisoft, if you're watching right now, specifically the Toronto office, specifically Clint, if, if you can, <laughs> put Chris Plant in Watch Dogs 3. Legion. Legion. Yeah. <laughs> And please ensure that he has one quest, <laughs> and it is to find the cream. <laughs> please, please, please do this. Thank you. That's. It was just a message yeah, okay. I really wanted to get across. Yeah, no, I didn't I'm know if I'd have a forum. Yeah. yeah. That's, now, I, now you're speaking to the world. Yeah. Um, I can't yeah. wait to get slow tweeted in a video game. <laughs> I, I, I feel like that uh, that quest has to be like. Well, I join your fun hacker gang, but my ass. <laughs> <laughs> also, I got me with my butt troubles. <laughs> I guess I can fuck a drone. I don't. What do you need me to do? <laughs> I don't think you would fuck a drone. Just <laughs> maybe <like> you. <laughs> uh, what would Chris Plant do? <laughs> Did you know there are no dogs in Watch Dogs? Uh, what? No dogs. Yeah. I don't That's know what happens after Brexit. Well, it's in the title. How dare you? Yeah. That's it's because you can jump into any NPC, and they were worried that they didn't want you to be able to jump into dogs. But I was like, what if we Couldn't could? You, yeah. 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 Say no dogs. Can't just make everything again? Yeah. yeah. You know, that'd be great. That'd be yeah. 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 Everything, but with That's like a skill game. tree and. Yeah. Game. And guns yeah, and course. drones. That's well, what that game was yeah. missing, obviously. Yeah. It was Definitely. a skill tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skill tree. <laughs> no, I want to be a skill tree. Here's an idea. Maybe not one skill tree. Can I jump into my skill tree? Yeah. Maybe not one skill tree, maybe three, and maybe one's like offense, defense, agility. Is that fun? Is that funny? Does anyone catch on with this? Mm. Never mind. This is stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. That's just what they all are. That's what every fucking game has. It's three skill trees and one's like offense, defense, and agility. I've been playing a lot of Spider-Man, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. one is definitely... How do you feel about helping the cops? <laughs> oh, it's fucking terrible. <laughs> all cops are bastards. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I've been playing a lot of that game and it's weird because, uh, you know... I'm bringing this back to a reasonable topic. Mm. The Avengers is coming out. Yes. Um, yeah. I don't know. That, that's, that's <laughs> I'm going to see the it tomorrow. Most reasonable demo of the show. <sighs> I'm going to see it tomorrow. I'm very curious about it because most of my thoughts about that game were that, like, I saw that trailer and I'm like, this doesn't look as good as Spider Man, which feels like should be the bar, right? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. the Avengers game. Right. Why don't they have, like, more money than God already? Like, what the fuck no. are they doing? No. With the models, is not they don't look like the actors because oh, no one ever that. expected that to happen, no. right? Like that costs lots of money. Why are they all distinctly not hot? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not that they are weird. Why are they all hot? hot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to. Why am I not horny for Captain America? Bill Bixby played you know? the Hulk and he's hot. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Thank seriously. You. <laughs> They're, you know, like the platonic ideal of like human, like physical skill. They should be hot. They should be hot. They should be hot. Especially if you have to look at them the whole day. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, it's just, like Black Widow's hair does it, it. Everything is wrong with her model and like. Every it's also, like, she doesn't have a real haircut. She just has hair that's grown out when it hits her shoulders. I mean, that's like the most uncomfortable point to have a haircut. Yeah. yeah. The whole game, her hair is just going to be brushing right here. And it, well, it also doesn't move, I don't think. So it's fine. A ponytail, no. at least. Don't they have that uh, that hair tech that they use in, like, Lara Croft games? Like, why don't they just. Yeah, yeah they made that uh, illegal. Tress effects. On tress hair. effects. Yeah. Thank you. Was that used on anything else? I think it was using The Witcher, actually. Can you? Yes, yeah, they, yeah, did, they did yeah, use it on yeah, the ponytail. Yeah. yeah, his beautiful hair. Can you imagine getting that project? Like somebody coming to you, like Square Enix, being like, we want you to make the Avengers. And you're like, okay, <laughs> cool, I'll make a Hulk game. And like, no, <laughs> we want you to make all of them. And you're like, it took like 30 years for people to figure out Batman. And they're like, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Make all of them yeah. and do it in one game and make them hot. And you're like, I can do everything with the last one. <laughs> <part." laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, so how about we launch with five and I can add more later? <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> Their haircuts are going to be so deeply uncomfortable. Yeah. Who, who Specifically, who's developing that? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's Crystal, Crystal Dynamics. Dynamics. And yeah. I just want you all. Yes, they yeah. should have the damn hair tech. It's the they same should, yeah. fucking studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. no, but like, like to, your, to your point, there's no way they can make a game, an uh, Avengers game that feels good to play all of these individual heroes because like, like every single good superhero game is just they pick one superhero and they build an entire game system around that person's mm -hmm. one fucking thing. Can you imagine like having to switch from using Spider-Man, like the movement from Insomniac Spider-Man game to yeah. just like something that feels good at all, comparably good to swinging like things and then you're like Captain America, yeah. and you have yeah. to punch now, yeah. and the punching has to feel just as good as the swinging did. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very tall order. Like honestly, like the thing about the Avengers that's cool is that they are all very different characters, and they like bounce off of each other sometimes, literally, to like do cool stuff. And that makes that means you have to create basically five different games. Like, I, and that's kind of you know. So Ben saw the demo today, mm -hmm. and and it. Really sounds like that in a way that makes it sound very strange as a co-op game mm. of just yeah. like here's this sequence of Iron Man flying around shooting people and then now here's on the ground breaking necks as Black Widow or whatever. Well, and, what's, and, what's weird about that is that like there is we already have the game that is the goofy fun version of that, which is Marvel Ultimate Alliance, right. which for the record looks fine because mm -hmm. it never it never attempted to be realistic and never attempted to like be a like true to the movies style game. It's just like yeah, what if every character punched bad guys mm. on the ground for. 30 minutes. And that's yeah. fun. It's goofy. And yeah, already... and then there was trivia between levels or something. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we already have so many, like, good... Like, I feel like we've abandoned bad licensed games mm -hmm. in the past. And, like, right. why do we have to return to bad licensed games when we can finally have it's good... Just, the Marvel stuff makes so much money. It, why? Yeah. You gotta try it, right? Yeah. Gotta, yeah. Yeah. We can latch onto that bullshit. Yeah. We can you gotta get try these drugs. And it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, this is, I think, of it as giving... Someone's giving you permission to not think about any Marvel franchise for, like, five years. You, like, don't have to think about it. <laughs> you now. don't have to. You, like, the movies, they've finished an arc. You know, you mm. can check out. Yeah. You can no, check out mm. right now. That would be so true. <laughs> except for, <laughs> except for one problem. Jake G stepped in, and then he's saying that sweet, sweet Steven Sondheim on YouTube a year ago, <laughs> and then I fell in love with him, and now he's back in a Marvel movie, and now I have to care about that movie. Oh, Do yeah, he's in the to? next one. Have you seen him finish a hat on YouTube? <laughs> Because he does it, mm. and it's beautiful. Mm. He's perfect. Mm. I'm just saying. I don't know any... Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal did a what, musical. What, what, Jake Gyllenhaal YouTube. did... <laughs> he finished the hat. What is, it finish, what is finishing a hat? Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Have you <laughs> even gone to musical theater school? <laughs> just the once. I mean. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal sang Steven Sondheim last year. He became a perfect human being. Okay. Even though he's actually... My wife worked at a cafe a long time ago. I shouldn't put this on video. And Too he bad. really, really was cheap on a tip. Oh, okay. <laughs> that she opened it early for him, and then he tipped a dime. <laughs> Excuse what? me. I'm so sorry, Steffi. I should not have shared that with everybody publicly. <laughs> yes, sure nice guy. Really <laughs> I still want to know about this whole hat he ate. Well, <laughs> well okay. So, so, so like, like, 10 years ago, he was very cheap. But then he, he, he like, learned how to sing. And then he learned how to sing Stephen Sondheim. He did Sunday in the Park with George. Mm -hmm. He finished the hat. Stephen Sondheim reference. 
And now he's in a Marvel movie, which brings us back to what you said. Oh, yeah, you don't Mysterio. have to care about Marvel anymore. He is a Mysterio. We actually do have to care because he looks into the, he looks into the is screen. Is that movie going to be good? I don't know. <laughs> Jake's in it. I think the existence of that movie kind of ruined Endgame for me because I was like... They had to do it. Yeah, because it doesn't matter. Like, Listen, you know no, that okay. Endgame doesn't matter. My boyfriend was in the theater and saw it before anybody knew all the spoilers. And he was in the theater and like, children were there. And what happened during that scene was the children started to cry. Yeah. Audibly. And mm. they would tug on their parents' sleeves and say, Mommy, Daddy... Why did Spider Man just die? Yeah, which is fucked mm. up. You know, but they had to release that trailer <laughs> so that the children would not just riot. Yeah, it's like, hey, it's fine. <laughs> He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. He's coming back. That's, that's been kids' movies all along, though. Yeah. You know, yeah. For me, that was like when they killed Optimus Prime mm. in the Transformers movie, and then like two episodes of the cartoon later, they're like, he's back. He's, he's a back. ghost, but uh, it's a ghost robot. It's, I don't know. Functionally the same. I've yeah. read comic books before, too. Oh, like, yeah. Well, you know? yeah. Also, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I guess it, it just feels like if they wanted to like hype up Endgame as being this huge fucking world-defining event or whatever the fuck, maybe you shouldn't have trailers actively running that show that it all gets fixed. Like, that was kind of... Do that was my main thing. Like, I get what you're saying, for sure. What's for sure. His, what's his face? It was Black Panther, our friend? Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes, nope. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> <laughs> well, they caught him on the red carpet, and they were like, so what, what happens? Are you going to give any spoilers for Endgame? He's like, nah, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> They were like, really? He's like, yeah, really, man, I'm dead. Like, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, at least, at least he's true to it. Yeah, he's, he's playing like, his he part. He's not going to mess up his bag. No, no. no. <laughs> like, yeah, no. He's got to chase that Marvel money. Yeah. He's method acting, and it's good. You know, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Put him working to The difference part. between him and Jordan Peterson, like, or not Jordan what? Peterson. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, tell us the <laughs> difference. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just forget about that yeah, for a no, second. We'll and I don't on. want to talk about that at all. No, <laughs> no. This is your king. Jordan. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. Yes. Peterson. An easy, an easy mistake. To make. <laughs> an easy mistake. To make. I'm so Jordan's in the tired. game. I get it. This is my first E3. It is almost midnight. Oh, this is oh. a podcast for that. Oh yep. my god. Um, Michael B. Jordan like gives so much of a shit about Marvel movies and the comics and can tell you everything about his character and the person who played Black Panther who I wish I knew what their name was. Wait, I don't know what it is. Wasn't the whole thing about Michael B. Jordan is that he got like really tired of people like calling him out for being Killmonger and like he this was the whole thing right where he like got like really tired of doing the, the Wakanda Forever thing yeah. and he like I thought he. I thought he was like dumb. Are you telling me he's not? He no. loves that shit. Like, Listen, have you seen that interview where they? It's like before he was Killmonger, and it's like him yeah. and like they have to add. They ask him like, "What's your favorite like thing?" And like the other two people have to guess. And he turns around his card, and his favorite thing is anime crossed out women. <laughs> <laughs> Good just shit, like, dude. Good that's shit. Shouldn't have crossed out anime. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Love my anime. Love pillows. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than anime cross women, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Did, well, didn't he do the thing where like one of his his outfits in Black Panther was like clearly a reference to Dragon Ball Z and yes. like he, he like he acknowledged was. that? Yeah. Yeah, there, there was like, I feel like there was like a good Four to six weeks where people are like that looks he likes so anime. Yeah. He acknowledged that he likes anime. He's our new favorite person yeah. that's ever lived. I love it when celebrities like things that I like as well. I like things. It makes me feel validated. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, the guy from Friends like too. Fallout. <laughs> and look where that got us. Well, it got you a shitty bag. Jeff. He was in the next Fallout, <laughs> and then they made more after that with a bad bag. Fallout seventy six. They skipped uh, seventy two entries. Fault. Yeah. It's Matthew Perry's fault. Probably. <laughs> you ever feel like the, uh, this is something uh, Dan Reichert and I were walking around the show floor today, and you see a lot of like booths that are like, we've got people here for to you to get a picture with their sign. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I it depends on how many E3s you've been to, but that used to be like sports people and wrestlers <laughs> and mm -hmm. like people from a movie or whatever, or like, hey, Jurassic 5 is here to perform the NBA Ballers theme, and you're like, I'm gonna happen? watch that. <laughs> yes, that totally happened. God. Uh, What's Golden was originally NBA Ballers, the it was the, anyway. Um, <laughs> and then we were walking around, it was like, come see Stormface from eSports. <laughs> and it's just like... <laughs> 
and I, I had never thought about it because it was such a gradual thing. But yeah, walking around, it was just like, yeah, come see this other esportsman. Uh, and it was just a weird. I, 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 it just it made me feel sad because. What if Jurassic Five was here instead? Yeah, I, I walked past the Fortnite booth, which mm -hmm. is like the entire side of an entire hall. Yeah, yeah. Some, What else would you put there? Right. Yeah. Uh, and there was some guy. It looked like probably from like CNN or something who was going to do a stand-up, <laughs> but the camera was having trouble, so it was taking a long time. Mm. And clearly, uh, Fortnite's people had staged every mascot available oh boy. behind him on stage <laughs> to dance, yeah. to dance <laughs> while he did it. But then whoever arranged that left, leaving these four dancers <laughs> to keep dancing, and it just, and, and, and there was no communication between the CNN guy who could not be bothered, who clearly did not want to be care. here, yeah. so they just stayed behind him. Dance. Did they floss? And, oh, they went. They did. They did oh. everything. They did ev any dance. Plan's they not going to name them because he doesn't could. know. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the problem is, like, four, it was five of them. Four of them are wearing like masks. But one dude has nothing to hide behind. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's looking at everybody else for any help. Can we get, can I get, can we get out of here? <laughs> Isn't that what they say in the torture scene in 1984? If you want a vision of the future, just imagine a group of people doing Fortnite dances before, behind a reporter forever. That is yeah. the phrase yeah, from that's that exactly book. what they said. Yeah, so that, precious. That is, that is exactly what it is. They have built what I, I, there's a Fortnite dancing game in that booth. Like, you can go, like, it looks like it is sensing your movement and judging, or maybe they're faking it, but, like, you know, it's, it's just they're dance, scoring maybe. you based on how well you can floss. Mm. And Are they going to pay two million? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Fortnite could totally do a crossover with Just Dance, and it would be highly unethical, but I would be extremely interested in it. They just can't <laughs> na rename the Millie Rock to Swipe it. Swipe that it. just is too. Um, like, yeah. just don't reveal the game. You know? <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, just, come on. just kind of like. Mm. Didn't they do? The, didn't they do a thing recently? That was like the first time they like officially collaborated with a rapper yes. on a dance. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was the thing. Did, just was that an article? <laughs> it was an article that? on the internet. So okay. much money. Just pay them. Come on. Yeah. And just you know, and also now that they've like bridged that and been like, okay, we're gonna pay this person for a dance. Don't you then have to be like. You didn't dance. You they didn't the pay gates, Carlton. Man. Excuse me, Carlton still wants his money. Well, <laughs> so, but like, Carl, does Carlton own that? Did they? Did no. they remove he didn't come up with it. The, the Carlton dance wasn't that a thing? Uh, oh, no, they, they, they got pulled out of Forza. Forza. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Forza had it. Uh, Forza had fl the, uh, flossing in it too. So they pulled that out because that was just great. Gone just, too soon, man. Just my. <laughs> Wait, so the cars floss? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the cars, the cars would do it. There was a whole thing. Uh, 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 it was, it was like Fighters Mega Mix. You know? uh, and, but no, it was like you, you picked it, you, you know, designed a driver, so it was like, here's my tiny, weird, blonde lady <laughs> flossing in front of some British monument. Oh, you can do it like in front of that waterfall, so it's just this beautiful scenic shot. Yeah, of, and it's like this long like, shot, <laughs> so it's like you see her from a really far distance, like... <laughs> it's a, it was a hilarious it's a fucking vision. person flossing up there. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, their cars. They call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> their cars behind them. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna do this sick photo shoot. What are you gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna floss on top of this waterfall. It's like you guys are taking photos, not video, right? <laughs> I don't care. Who cares? This is what I'm I'd be doing this anyway. No cameras, five cameras, whatever. <laughs> I'm just born to floss. Can we talk about um, that? No one has. I have not heard a firm yes or no on whether or not Claptrap dabs in New Borderlands, and that's really important. We have important. not seen it in the trailer. I, I, yeah, uh, Luigi has dabbed before Claptrap in our in our timeline. I like Earth. didn't even get to enjoy dabbing. You know, <laughs> no, no, it is came no, it past, there was no. It is fully past any position of respectability, and I'm sad about that because you know. But you want Claptrap to do it. Yeah, I want Claptrap to do it, but you know, like. It's kind of garbage. You know. Do you think that maybe the there's the devaluation like, of black art, et cetera, et cetera? But uh, there's, there's also, still someone at the, at a gearbox that is like. Oh, that'd be two on the nose, even for us. No. Yeah, yeah, no, no. There's no, no, there's no yeah. check on balance there for Absolutely that. Absolutely yeah. not. It's on the nose, no fuck yes. Yeah. Yeah. Add it in. Yeah. Add it in three Line more times. Yeah. Add it in. Make Just do it. There's this <laughs> wonderful <laughs> musical artist named name Kieran J. Mm -hmm. Hallinan, yeah. mm. who uh, did, like, he did like really weird music, and now he's doing really weird music that's also pop music. Uh, and he just said, like, in his choice for songwriting, whenever he came between two choices, he always picked the worst one. Yeah. And sometimes some aspects of Borderlands really feel like that to me. 
<laughs> so, so games are art. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah. I, I got I got hands on with Borderlands today and I, I honestly like my biggest reaction was like, man, I I'm kind of frustrated that I love this game. Yeah, <laughs> like it's totally. I love it's Borderlands. It's a really fun loot shooter. They, they it does love the it. thing that it does super well. And now there's a there's a diva in it. There's a diva from Overwatch is in that oh, game, sort God. of. Like, uh. <laughs> um, and I'm like, yeah, sure. I what, like, no Battleborn characters? <laughs> Who's got uh, Battleborn You know, all those yeah. little yeah. characters Hobby like grade. Mushroom. Mushroom. I, I remember Mushroom. <laughs> I do remember Mushroom. They did a good job with Mushroom. Mushroom was cool. <laughs> they have Easter. guns that fire guns. And they have guns that fire USB sticks. <laughs> <laughs> was that a thing in Battleborn? Ooh, okay, I just got to there. <laughs> no, oh, God. God. There's a Battleborn uh, Easter egg as one of the enemies that they showed in the gameplay. Okay. Wait, really? All right. For the that, fans. Yeah. Huh, okay. For Eldragon. Uh, for the, the, right. for the fans. For the fans. Big, big yeah. Battleborn Harry. fan, Tina. No, I know, I know. I, know. I, just, yeah. I, did, I never played Battleborn, I just researched it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is actually a really good time, a lot of the time, is just going to any page in the Assassin's Creed wiki. Mm. You know what? <laughs> it just, you could go especially to the future stuff that they never properly explained in those oh, games. Oh, yeah. Didn't yeah. they, like, just like totally look up the Apple of Eden and then look, click any link, and it'll always be the wildest thing you've ever read. Ugh. And they're like, it's all canon. <laughs> and that's all yeah. in those games. It's, it's all stuff that like came out of like the comics or something, right? Yeah. Like I, we, we spoke with someone who was like deep in the Assassin's Creed like fandom. Uh, Tight. I uh, really want to wonder ago. what that is. Yeah. Like. <laughs> what is that like? <laughs> well, you read the comics apparently, and and know all that shit. Because you know, like all, my thing has always been like, well, one of these days they're gonna get back to Desmond. The only thing that matters about Assassin's Creed. <laughs> and he's like, actually, they did the comics. They did this. Like, mm, okay. You could read the comics. Desmond yeah, exited that series more. like someone who like realize that the movie they're in was being made into a franchise and really doesn't want to be in it anymore. Yeah. Like Sally Hawkins in the new Godzilla movie. Yeah, it's like, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll be in it up to this point, but, oh, you're going to make, mm, mm, I just, got three days max, so yeah. you can just fit them all in in those three days. I got a very busy schedule coming up for the next uh, two to five years. So, yeah. but, uh, Don't think I can uh, fit that one in. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So what's covering the show been like? Tina, it's, uh, you know, IGN... No booth on the floor this year. No booth on the floor. We have a meeting room yeah. um, just to like stake out some space. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's cute, actually. Myself and my managing editor have office hours Aww. for <laughs> our writers and editors to come. And they just come and they're like, should I make this a breakout? And we're like, yes, that sounds good. Here's a headline. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I've been doing things a little bit differently. But we do have uh, our like giant live show production mm -hmm. thing still in the same studio that we had last year. Cool. So we decided to just kind of opt for beefing that out instead of doing the booth. Yeah, it's a, it, it it's seems, sort of a running theme. Yeah, huh? I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like that's that. I think that was the one that that struck me the most was just like you know it's like Activision. Yeah, they've come and gone. Whatever. Yeah. EA. Who was EA? Yeah. Um, but then we pulled down. You're like, oh my god. Yeah. Cancer. When I did pull out, I was like, man, that's that's wild. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. I figured just allocate all our resources into one place. But yeah, it's a uh, it's been chaos. Despite it being somewhat of a lighter year mm -hmm. in a weird way, like yeah. without Sony, it's still just been chaos. I think that's E3. Like E3 will yeah. expand to fill whatever space yeah, exactly. it can, mm -hmm. and and just there will take be up as much. It'll be just as much of a nightmare no matter what. Like yeah. something will go wrong. Something will publish. Wrong. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Things happen. <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what's uh, what's Polygon out there doing? Oh, you know, video games. <laughs> kind of into that. I like that. Kinda. Like with with nobody else on the show floor, yeah. that we finally have a show floor that is. Nintendo versus Sega. And right. Sega yeah. is what literally is showing it? the Sega Genesis. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. yeah, that's what we got. Yeah. We got Kaja Arcelor, so we got the Sega Genesis. And Nintendo's like, I mean, hey, if you're not too busy, do you want to go to the Olympics? And they're like, sure, man. Sure. You want Dr. Eggman to do some skateboarding? They're like, yeah, why, why not? Absolutely. Why is there shoeless Dr. Eggman? Why does it? Why did we allow this? Have you those feet? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yummy, yummy, Luigi. How are we back on video game feet? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I hate this. Time to cancel this the stream. So Stephen yeah. will like DM me whenever he sees new like video game feet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, like the Kirby like, new morning Kirby <laughs> foot fan art oh, thing yeah, that was yeah, happening. Yeah. I did a post. It did really well. And then Stephen like DM me one day. It was like someone made a mod of that, and I was. Like mm. Stephen, I'm 
<laughs> well, I'll write it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, but you are okay. my boss. All right. And now I'm gonna make everyone think about this again. I'm so, so sorry that you were the foot reporter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be. Someone's gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. Every publication has one. That's. I mean, that's that's a valuable position on the roster. Or, <laughs> you know, it, it, you could be writing about the bag. That's true. Could be writing about the bag. Yeah. That's true. Pat and I were doing an interview with the, uh, I believe, the director of um, Sonic and Mario at the Olympics. Mm. Specifically, we were watching Dr. Eggman perform uh, kickflips. Specifically, we were ambushed by the <laughs> by the director of this game. Yes, yeah, so like, he did. Hey, he did he you think we can get some footage of Wa Waluigi doing some skateboard tricks? And then we go into this room. It's like, yeah, you got five minutes. And we look, look to the side. The fucking director of the game is there. We're like, oh. <laughs> Hands me the second player controller, and I'm like, I guess we're playing now. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, I should have a question. I'm like, you know, there's like a, a lot of sports in this game. Yeah. How do you do all the sports? <laughs> and he proceeds to, like, obviously that gets translated. Yeah. A very long translation comes back to me. <laughs> and it, 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 it is, you know, you can do 26 different kickflips. <laughs> And, and like we are getting pulled out of literally being pulled out by our callers by the publicist to go see this, the chief creative officer of Sega. Yeah. And I was like, bye. And he's like, bye. I feel like that's like a cry for help. He's like, please take me with you. Get me out of there. Like that's the code. You missed it. It's like there's 26 different kit flips in this game. It, it was it was enjoyable. Uh, I, that's the first one of those games that I've looked at and said like. That looks okay. Mm. And I don't know, I, I think it's just like the events look better or yeah. so, or it's just like, surfing, okay. You know what I think it is? I think I miss that Wii game. Mm. I miss that period of like... Wii Sports? Wii, mm. Well, not even, not even Wii Sports. Like, bad, like, well, not bad. I don't want to be too cruel here. Like, we just try to do it all. Yeah. Who Th cares? This is a game parents will always buy for their kids. Every time. It's got ten games in one. Why yeah. wouldn't I buy it? Yeah. It's like yep. the, the mini game collection era of right. the Wii, yeah. which yeah. was like a pretty significant time. Yeah, period. but this, this has got like karate in it and <laughs> yeah. shit. It, it, I was it, okay. You played that with him, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the sort of game where somebody in like at Sega was like, hey, uh, the Olympics people were asking if we could get windsurfing in. I know there's only four days left. And they're like, don't worry about it. <laughs> four days. We'll, add it. we'll do two windsurfings. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to add breaking to this Olympics also. Huh. Like, it might be one of those sports that they try out as yeah. a sport. Yeah. It's not necessarily broadcast, but they'll like give it a shot in this one. And But there's like controversy over scoring, breaking, which mm. is understandable. Yeah. This is way but, more information than I knew about the Olympics when I was just like, yeah, <laughs> this game is so weird. It has surfing. That's not a sport. And everyone looked at me and they're like, it's an Olympic sport. <laughs> <laughs> you need to respect How it. Dare you. I know. How dare you? Well, I think that's going to do it for us here tonight. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Uh, it's been tremendous to spend some time with you here at the end of the evening. Uh, and I, w I wish you luck out there for two more days of this stuff. Uh, Dear God. <laughs> yeah. I already feel so exhausted. Yeah. Good luck with your office hours. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. That is kind of fun. Weird way. I know. You, you can come on by. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll find your hours. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, a special start time, 5.45 p.m. <laughs> right? That's right? Is that right? That's right. All right. Yeah, we're scheduled to talk to Phil Spencer first up tomorrow. So coming back for that, we'll ask him about this Xbox thing. What's that all about? Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming by. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a great night. <laughs>